Hey guys, welcome back. The school year is approaching and I want to build a new podium that will be up on wheels. Let me show you this rough design. Podium is going to be 16 deep, 24 wide, and on the tall side, 44 tall, on the short side, only 40 tall. I thought I was going to use 3 inch wheels, but I ended up already having these. They're about 4 inches tall. So I'm just going to build the podium 40 inches tall, and then those wheels will bring it up to 44. I'm glad I waited a day or two to start this project because I realized these middle shelves can just be adjustable. They don't need to be fixed into the podium. I'm going to use dados for the top and bottom shelves and I'm going to try and hinge the very top where I'll keep my notes or textbook. But the first step is to rip a sheet of plywood in half and I'm going to do that with a circular saw. I've already got it set up on the floor. Now, circular saws make more dust than just about anything else, uh, more chips flying. So I am going to wear a dust mask, and you'll be happy to know I'm wearing safety glasses. One thing to know about a circular saw is that the tear out is going to happen on the top side, so make sure you have the bad side up. That blade comes spinning upward. Now I've got to make a couple of cuts with the circular saw before I finish up at the table saw, so I think... It might be time for a montage. All right, ready to go with the next step, which is rabbits and dados on the back and the sides. I have my dado jig for the router on here clamped onto the back. If you want to see the video where I made that, should be a link right here. Click on it, then come back and finish this one. But we are ready to go. I'm going to make two passes. I'm going to run down and back and then just to make sure I've got it, I'm going to run down and back again. It might get that extra, you know, 64th of an inch. Alright, up next is to take these pieces back to the table saw, set the blade to 45 degrees. I'm going to cut bevels so that they join like a miter joint and you don't see any of the plies on the plywood. The last step before glue up is to cut the angle on the top of the podium. Let me make sure that is the top. Yep. I've got them clamped to each other, so I'm going to cut them both at once. I've got my circular saw guide clamped on top. 
and we are ready to go. I can put my safety glasses back on. I know y'all like it when I wear these. Alright, here we go. All right, let me grab the shelves that I cut off camera and we'll start glue up. I forgot to mention that I went ahead and sanded everything with 150 and then 220. I'm gonna do this glue up in two parts, gluing these two shelves onto the back and then coming back after half an hour and gluing on the two sides. I'm going to try and avoid using nails, so I am putting on lots of glue. Glue is strong enough if you can get enough of it in there, and then of course enough clamping pressure. I'm going to use a bar clamp at either end, but for the middle, I want to push it up. And so I've got the back clamped down to the work table, I've got these blocks clamped down to the work table, and then I'm going to use wedges. <laughs> to uh, push the only thing that's not clamped down, which is this shelf. So if you will excuse me, I'm going to change my focus over to gluing and I will catch up with you after this. To deal with the exposed edges of the plywood, I have ripped down some pine down to quarter inch thick and I am just gluing it on. Of course, some Rockler edge clamps would be really useful right now, but those are definitely out of my budget. You can make some yourself, but I have not done that yet. So I am just using bar clamps clamped onto the podium and then wedges to apply a little bit of force. Not going to take a whole lot, but uh, and then I guess I should say this is of course again because I'm trying not to put any nails in this podium. I want to stain this podium uh, and I just don't want to have to deal with wood filler if I can avoid it. Alright, there we go. Alright, to hold the adjustable shelves, I need to drill some holes for these little pins. The holes are 3 16 inch diameter. And I've got some tape on here for the depth stop. And I drilled a bunch of holes in this board at the drill press to make sure they were nice and perpendicular. And then I will just move this board to the four locations where I'm going to be drilling. wheels to the bottom to make the podium mobile. Now I am using one inch screws and since the plywood's only three quarter, I have cut some wooden spacer blocks. And to wrap it up, I need to add hinges to the top 
so that I can access this compartment. I used a palm router to, no, not a palm router, a trim router to recess these hinges into the top and into the cabinet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a great week, and as always, get out there and make some sawdust.